Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair thingamajig- Well, no, I guess this one's going up on the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. Wherever, whatever website you see this on, I'm sure it's fine. Um, I'm your host, Larry Chupacabra, joined by Death, also known as Andy Dandy, and Assy McGee, also known as Captain Kraken. Because, you know, you either get busy dying, or you get Kraken. And we're checking out and kind of reviewing Discord today. It's a new app that is in alpha stages right now, and it's a free voice chat that offers you, like, you know, built-in chat boxes, and you can share files, you can upload stuff and put it across the internets, and have your own personal private server for free, and all you gotta do is download this app, and they even have support built in for your phones and junk, and it's actually, it's pretty good, I mean... I'm just scrolling through the website right now, because it's pretty looking, and it makes for a great opening intro. But it's free, and it works pretty damn well. Like, both of you boys, say hello and uh, introduce yourselves so they can hear the audio quality. Oh, this is yes. Beth McGee tuning into you live. Yeah, look mm -hmm. at them. Aren't they fancy? You can see their, their, their voices over here saying words. So I need to and invite... the voice activation thing. Yeah, the voice activation works real good, and like... I can go into my computer, and I can go to my desktop, and what did I have down here? I had some previews for um, a new thing I'm going to start, and some logo Reese. Here we go, let me just post this picture from One Punch Man, this uh, anime <laughs> me and Death were watching. See, so you can just p upload pictures mm -hmm. and share them live, and you can see, like, you can hover over GIFs, and you can see Elmo get melted. <laughs> <laughs> I an F-16 rocket engine, because why not, man? You can hot link, like, uh, Bob Ross singing, all these gifts, like this guy stealing a TV. Good stuff. But, um, great. yeah, so we're basically going to take a look at it, and I need to invite both these bad boys to my new server I just set up. Um, right. is this, is this what I need? Does this do what it should yeah. do? Okay. <laughs> We'd have to copy it. Yeah, well, whatever. You, I'm setting up channels and stuff. So I you just don't have to. Like, um, it also has the web client, and since I'm logged on to oh, the yeah, web client, oh yeah, that's true. Automatically bro. put me in there. You can just log in via the uh, the internet. You don't even have to download anything for this. Like here, let me click the button and open two discords at the same time, the same hole. Oh my god. Yeah, but it works. It, it's pretty good. App. See, it runs here in the background. Let me, uh, I'm listening to some, uh, I've got some news for you, some British show. Where did I propose the app? There we go. So yeah, I just made this, this channel, this server for myself called the Chupacabra's Lair Place. And once I see these two boys over here in the general chat voice channel, I'll switch to that one. And I'm going to add... First, I'm gonna change the name of these channels. So let me click this edit. I'm gonna change this channel oh, name this... to Muffins. You sent the basic kids. What did I send? Pretty sure it's this channel. Yeah. The way that you send an invite is you would be on your own thing, and you would see like on the text channel or the voice channel. When you scroll over, it, you'll see a little box with an arrow pointing up. Well, you I hit that. I copied the one for. Yeah, I got it. All right. I'll see. Yes. Here's the invite code. Good for 24 hours. You can both come over and play. Don't oh, you then, both oh. look fancy? Oh. We don't even have to add anything. You just click it to join. Yeah. That's so when this did. way that this program works is once you get like a little URL link that you can share with people like this discord.gg, it'll automatically do all the credentials for you. And that invite's only good for 24 hours. But people can't really mess with you. So I'm over it's here. Nice. You guys in the thing? Jump in the general oh, chat yeah, over here. Go. Do it. Okay, good. Perfect. Now we're here we are. now we're over here where fancy things happen. So you can add some mm -hmm. channels here. It'll be whatever you need, like the bacon disco. Although there are some weird naming conventions because this thing is still in beta, like you gotta have dashes or alphanumerical things. You can't just have spaces. I mean, it's 2015, you guys, who made this app. I can have spaces and weird symbols and stuff, you weird people. Flipping 
crazy space communists on the internet. And now we can start uploading stuff in these channels, and you can be in different text channels and, and while also being in a voice channel. You can hot swap between them. So what should we add here? Um, let's... Oh. What should we do? I got a lot of weird stuff in here. Um... Well, I know what we need. What are these? Oh, there's some Soma screenshots. I can share that. Although they're freaking huge. Um, what else have I got? It probably... Hey, do you guys want to see the it. logo for the for the new uh, series me and Nubendorf are going to start soon? Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, I might as well promo that. I just made this today and just finished uh, tweaking it. Got this super awesome logo. Ready oh, nice. for the Ready and Play show that I just made today. And that shit looks yeah, fancy. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, Ready and Play. So you can share, like, pretty much anything. Like, what have I got on here? I think I've got... I can share, like, WAV files. Pretty much anything on your computer you can upload and share. I'm sure 4chan will love that in not too distant future. <laughs> 4chan loves ruining perfectly good... Uh, file sharing services. Also, Is there a size limit? Right to I, the, not that I've noticed. Oh, that's cool. I haven't run into it. Oh, got I believe that you servers, can watch though. YouTube videos in house. Let's see. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yours. You just hit play. Now look, all Assy's right, so. all up on my weird uh, lounging <laughs> with Larry series. I figured it was appropriate. It was. It really was. What else went live today? I think one of the Bloodborne videos, but I've got like 40 of those up online. Auto posting. The Warcraft teaser trailer thing. Oh yeah, maybe I should review that some point. <laughs> like 15 seconds long, I think. Yeah, whatever, you can just loop it in the background. It's not weird, man. So yeah, this, no, in, yeah, no. this in a nutshell is Discord. You can change different details about your server. You can add you know, Twitch integration so that you can stream live to people. You can sync the subscribers and stuff. You can have, like, a HUD that tells you sexy information. You can add an AFK channel so I can dedicate one of them to being uh, for plebs. And then, what else have we got in here? We got the members list where I can give them powers. Like, uh, I can kick both of these guys from this list here. Got roles where oh. I can change people's names and stuff. I can denote like and colors. Yeah, I can give them people like uh, different permissions on the server. Like if I was playing with Teamspeak, I can see the ban list. I can even add. Well, I can add some uh, invite channels, enable widgets. Yeah, yeah you, you got can all, change your name too. Yeah, you are. You got all sorts of stuff. Like here, you can even make a widget that you can embed on your Twitch channel if you want to invite people in for a meet and greet in the general channel, but they can only go in that one and they can't go in the other one. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know about that one. You got all sorts nice. of stuff in here. It's it's good stuff. They're also working on a in-game overlay. Yeah, so eventually you'll have the ability to see who's on in like the corner or have like a, a overlay like Steam where you can hit a, a hotkey and like Screen kind of blacks out a little bit. You can see all your chats and stuff going on. So mm. this this is free. It's brand spanking new, but it's nice because it's got decent voice quality. It's also got decent everything quality, really. And you can instantly chat with people. You can direct chat people, too. Like, uh, we send a bunch of weird stuff in here. Oh, yeah, I told Cozen to sing me a song about stomping a frog to death. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, an you guys can come see this video later on my Chupacabra Tutorials channel. What did I tell a Assy? I told Assy to put something in his mouth. <laughs> and then um, I told you that I was bored. And you were mm -hmm. sharing me links to watch uh, this One Punch and other movies. Yep. Yeah. So you can have, like, infinite numbers of servers that you're a part of. You can invite infinite numbers of people on here. I'm sure they have a lot of technical limitations, but I doubt um, anyone at home is probably going to overdub this thing. So if you, if for whatever reason, you were playing on like a TeamSpeak server or Ventrilo server that went down because no one wanted to pay for it, this is a pretty good free alternative. It's got, you know, 
got an Opus codec. It's got all that stuff. It's available for free on discordapp.com. So you can make all your fancy stuff and dreams come true. And oh, you even a got a wide variety of supported platforms. Yeah, they even got a series of overlays. Linux. Isn't it? Does it have Linux support? Um, yeah, it does. Probably. If not, I mean, even if you're on a weird installation that doesn't let you have, like, an inst... No, it's only Mac and uh, Windows. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, it also shows you the games that whoever else is in the channel is playing at the time. Oh, yes. It's true. Like, if we go back over to uh, the Don't Inspect Me group... Oh, no one's currently in anything. Never mind. <laughs> I'm... Whoops, I'm, in a game. I'm gonna open a new game and see if that there's an option to have it to where it won't show your game you're playing, and I have that set. Let me see if I can. Oh, really? Turn it off. Yeah. Why don't we take? Why don't we jump in and look at some of the preferences here? So, this is my Larry Chupacabra stuff. You can look at that email. I don't even give a crap. Um, all right. You can connect with oh, all right. this stuff. Like eventually, they're gonna make it so you can connect with your Battle.net chat, your YouTube chat for streaming, Twitter for. Twitch. Messages, Twitch, which is already in there. You got all this information displaying text and stuff. And the one thing that we really liked here was that they've got a really easy to use automatic, you know, voice sensitivity thing with voice activation for your mic. So you can see my delicious voice making these colors drift around. And you set the, mm. the threshold with this little knob, and anything above that, uh, these these wonderful sexy people here on the server, except for Death, he's not sexy, will be able to oh. hear me. Ooh. You can set up all your key bindings, like I could make it so that I could, let's see here. I'm gonna mute myself using the FN function key. If it wants to do the thing. Come on, do the thing. Ooh, it is not a green. With I guess I'll <laughs> just do the tilde key. I don't know, oh, you some... Did, you Key bindings. What's that? In your key bindings. Well, it won't let me use the FN key, the function key. Oh. Not, not every program likes that on keyboards. And then yeah. I'm going to let you guys not see my games because you're all, all a bunch of crazy communists. <laughs> I then... currently turned mine off so you can now see that I'm playing Ark Survival. And it picks up a lot of games weird. Like, I have an odd program called YGO Pro that I used to play around with, which is just some free little Yu-Gi-Oh thing that lets, has all the cards and whatnot. And it even picks up that. And it's just Jeez, like really? sort of freeware. Yeah, it picks up. Yeah, it's common it's good simulator. Oh, that is not picking up the game I'm playing right now, though, which is oh, Sky Oh, but Sega. we're getting a bit of lag. So occasionally you get to hear people turn into robots if you get a little bit of a lag spike. Again... This is an early development, this is an alpha, so it's not the world's bestest thing. But again, it's Discord, it's free, I'm not getting paid to say that, so, I mean, this is about as honest as it's gonna get on the internet. It's a pretty good thing, it's compatible with all your stuff. Even if you don't have a download, you can just use it through the web browser. Because it can do the stuff with the things. And it's very <laughs> low, what's the word? It doesn't demand a lot of your system resources to do its thing with the stuff. It's, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty, really good on that. Yeah, yeah, it's not very demanding. It's not taxing at all. It's, I mean, it's I can't. Nice it's pretty flippin' spiffy. Yeah, replace all of my voips. Yeah, I still pay for a mumble server for our other game community stuff, but eventually, I may just say fuck it and just do this. Mm-hmm. Cause, I mean, uh, yeah. It's weird, like, I'm not even kidding, like, six different people, including Death here, who's Imu, um, all message yep. me on the same day, like, you should check out Discord, and I'm just like, yeah, alright. <laughs> Worked out pretty well. <laughs> Although those other people didn't come back and give me an invite to their server. Little bastards. Oh. Alright, well, that's it for this one, ladies we and gentlemen. This has been Discord, we've been checking it out today. Um... I'm probably going to keep this new server that I made with my cool little Larry Chupacabra icon here. Um, I'll show it to you. I have this... I made this press kit forever ago up here in my desktop. And it's right here. It's the Chupaloopa press kit. And every time I create, like, a Chupacabra icon variant, it goes in here. And I made this one for Fury Road for my Fallout Shelter series. Unfortunately, um, Bethesda fucked me over. And they updated it, and it wouldn't work on my iPad 3 anymore, so... 
The, f- the finale got canceled because Bethesda Damn. doesn't love me. So anyway, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. You can check this, this thing out for yourselves. I mean, it works pretty well. You can get a bunch of people in here, low latency. It's good stuff. So check it out. Links in the description. Bye, everybody. Say goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye. Goodbye.